Sean Kagawa, Kamehameha Schools, um, West Point Academy. How do you like the way the hat fits? Ah, it fits perfect. Which one do you like better, the, the old school gold or the new school camouflage? <laughs> is, this, is it feeling real now after the visit and the ceremony? Yeah, I didn't really kick in until the ceremony this morning. So it's a really surreal feeling. You guys all flew in this morning, early flight. I actually flew in a couple days ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. Came. Um, and then your family's over here. Yeah, I came to spend time with my family. Hey, great. Then that's like your, your nieces and nephew. Yeah, uh, my cousins. Your cousins? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's cool that they came over. Yeah. Ah, oh, they live here. We're staying with them. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay, so they were here. Your grandparents flew over. Yeah, we flew over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I'm excited. I'm excited. They got you projected to play probably corner. Yes. Maybe a little safety, hybrid. Yeah, a little safety. Uh, maybe even some offense. Slot receiver, back, receiver. Slot back, yeah. What do they run? I don't even know what they run. They uh, run they, a triple option. They run option? a triple option. option. Oh. Yeah. So if they have you at slot, then you go in motion and then. Then yeah, I have the. Yeah. So that's the same thing Rich Ellison was part of when Bob Wagner was at UH. Basically. Yeah, exactly. That was a that was a potent offense when everything was clicking. Just flowing. Yeah. yeah. I think Navy runs that as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. So when do you leave? Uh, Mid July. Yes. Wow. And then you give your next four years to the military? Uh, next five. Five. I went prep. Oh, oh you're going to prep school first? Yeah. I think Paul is the only one not going to prep school, actually. Oh, he's going direct? Yeah, he's going direct. Wow. And Jared and I are going to prep. What do you know about the prep school? Um, ten months. Um, it's just basically another year to get better, get adjusted to the system, military yeah. life. Well, they try to send all their they, they try to sell, send all the football players towards prep school. So, and we play ten games. We play against Temple, um, JV. There. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Syracuse JV. You would rather play offense. Yeah, I'd rather play offense. But then your speed is valuable on defense. So. Yeah. And basketball though. Um, I'm actually gonna try out at the prep school. Oh. Half time, so I'll try to sneak on. Ah. Maybe I'll take over. Uh, be able to get onto the army when I get up there. West. Yeah, this only I could try. Uh, uh, try out and see balance football and basketball how that is in prep year. If you only play football, that's still good. Yeah, it's yeah, so it's your, good. your grandparents, what would you say to them for everything? Like, they raised you basically, right? Um, I mean, words can't describe you know what they did for me. Uh, and being able to go to West Point, um, being able to take the financial burden off them and be able to survive on my own, I, I think that's the biggest thing for them that I'll be okay without them and on my own. You get a paycheck every month. That's what I heard. Five hundred a month. And you can just put it away. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. And then, uh, what was their backup plan? Um, it was actually uh, Hawaii, Hawaii, and Utah. Hawaii and Utah. Yeah. They offered, or do they want to gray shirt you? What do they want to do? They wanted to red shirt. Yeah. So, I think that would have been. Better. This is better. Yeah, this is much better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Thanks. Thanks, man. Thank you. Jared, congratulations, man. How you feel? Feel good. You signed your name on that on that letter. Yes, I did. The commander was here. Everything is for real now. How, how does that make you feel? Feel relieved. Yeah. You like, you like that hat on your head? Suits me. <laughs> I don't. I don't normally wear hats, so I'm just soaking it in. So uh, all of this in. What's gonna happen now? Well, we, I start back school for my final quarter of my senior year on Wednesday. Just finish strong with high school and fly up for basic training and into the prep school. Who, so your mom and I was I was told your mom and dad not in the picture. So who raised you, Auntie? The one who was right here. Well, I was with them. They they raised me. But I took myself away from them, and I live with my grandparents. Who's your grandparents? Um, Eleterio Villegas and Petra Villegas. But oh. they um, they don't speak very well English. Yeah. So. Well, I first lived with them when I was when I was about five, and wow. then I moved with my with my auntie them because my mom them were in. They were doing bad stuff. Yeah. And you're a kid, and you kind of like, wow, I don't, I don't, I don't like this. <laughs> Well, yeah, and then when my mom and them came back, I was with them until I was from 
around seven to about fifteen. Yeah. And then as soon as as soon as high school hit, I moved in with my grandparents and yeah. with them and with my auntie, I did everything that I'm that I have been doing lately. And so you did a lot at Lily Hall. Yes. I, I mean, you're still lot. doing it. You're still in track. Oh, you're in judo. Yes. You're in wrestling. I saw you wrestle. Yeah. But the army is a different deal, right? Waking up early and everything. Are you prepared for that? Well, my auntie and them always told me to just do my best in whatever I do. So, I mean, even I just gotta adjust to the army culture. And does it does it help having two other guys from Hawaii? Yes, it really will. <laughs> I mean, it's on the all the way on the opposite side of the the U.S. So far from home. Even though home is only just a phone call away, I have them there with me to yeah. give me comfort and to know that they are going through the same thing as I am right now. So yeah. I want, I'm not alone. They're in the same boat as I am. All right, man. Congrats, man. Thank you. Andrew Road in James Campbell High School and in the fall I'm going to West Point, the United States Military Academy at West Point. Well, it's official now, the commander, the signing, how do you feel? I feel good, I feel excited. Uh, your mom and I were talking and uh, she said she was in the military for 20 years. Um, she knows kind of what you're going into. Yeah. So she took, like some moms have Fears, no matter where their son goes to college, she's totally comfortable. She is. She knows like all about the ropes and like how the army life is. And, yeah, she feels really comfortable with me going, and I feel extremely great about it. So, so your other option was South Dakota School of Mines. So you're an engineering kind of guy. Yes, sir. You like that place, but what happened when you went to West Point and visited? Yeah, to West Point, I just thought it's a way better place compared to South yeah. Dakota School. Small school. Wise. There's a lot less distractions. You know, I can just focus on schoolwork and football and you know, the military aspects of it. Just, you know, prioritize my time way better at West Point yeah. than I could at South Dakota School of Mines. So, what is it? What is Coach Amosa told you that is going to stick with you as you go to the next level? He just told me to you know, always do your best on every play. <laughs> Always, you know, give up on the game, never give up on any plays, you know. And if anything anything happens bad in one play, just think about the next play and just forget about the bad and just continue to work hard. And, you know, is it gonna help going up there with two other guys from Hawaii? It is. It's gonna be a good camaraderie and, you know, since we know about the island and like, the spirit around here from the company. So, Alright man. The best you. is ahead. The best sir. is ahead. Congrats man. Thank you, sir. All right, Coach Obosa. What's up, Paul? It's a three, three guys going to West Point. Paul is one of them. What do you think? Well, uh, first of all, I want to, you know, it, it's an honor, it's a pleasure to uh, to be here today to uh, recognize the three young student athletes. I think uh, Paul going to West Point, uh, former coach of mine, Ellison, he's going to get a great person, also a person, individual with an awesome work ethic. And you know, I wish all three of them the best of luck, especially Paul Rodin. It's been a role model for all Campbell High School student athletes. And it's been a great example for a lot of our students in our everybody's community. So wishing the best of luck. Um, I want to thank the, the Army, General Savannah, for Doug Nomura, Russell, and everybody for putting such an awesome uh, ceremony today. It's an honor to be here to uh, witness what took place in the, the three student athletes signing from Hawaii. This so, it, Army. It's, it's kind of real because West Point is a hard school to get into and they all qualify. So it, it's interesting to see if in the future more kids from Campbell will look at the military in West Point. Uh, well, like the General Chavez talk about, it. it's so hard to get in West Point. I mean, uh, standards in terms of academic, um, you know, community involvement, um, and especially football skills. So I think uh, for Paul, man, that guy has been, man, nothing but a hard worker. Four years in our program, and the kid, I mean, from day one has improved tremendously and really uh, put himself, set himself 
high standards every year. So we're very grateful and thankful for this opportunity for to working with Paul and especially his mom uh, being a single parent and so supportive of uh, of our program, what we do with Paul. And especially she's an army yeah. retiring, so I think it's going to be a great thing for mom. Yeah, he has maturity, though. Yeah. Well, Hard to find that. Yeah. <laughs> Very humble guy, too. I mean, yeah. even, even trying to get him to these kind of recognition ceremony, even here at school, he's like, oh, no coach. You know, I don't want that. You know, such a humble, humble man. He's, so he's, like, he's like his coach. <laughs> no, no, no. Thanks, Mozo. Okay, Paul. Take care. No, no. No, come on. <laughs> Coach told me, uh, the military, uh, you have some, if I remember right, you have some connection to... Yes. Well, we're, uh, our son-in-law coaches at Army. Oh. And Rich Ellerson coaches at Army. Yeah. Obviously, about a bunch of staff, but our son-in-law coaches at Army. They run, uh, from what I understand, they run the spread option. Similar to what Navy runs. Yes. Yeah. Is there is there anything when you watch them play? Do you see, do you see the old UH that Rich teaches? Do you see anything? It's a lot of the same stuff. It's a lot of the same stuff that Paul Johnson brought here. So, such as? Well, just the option and passing game as well. Good running game. A lot of the same stuff. But okay. they've done a great job. Uh, three kids from Hawaii going to West Point and. From what I understand, like Sean had a chance to go to UH. I don't know if they were gonna gray shirt him or but he opted for I mean it's a hard life. It's it's a it is. strong it's, life. It's a, it's a it's a wonderful place. You can see why people go there because it's such a fabulous place. And they're on the they're on the right track. Are you gonna stay retired or are you gonna I'm semi retired. Semi? <laughs> I coach one I, I coach one football game a year in the Arizona All Star game. Oh. And and uh, for the present time that's about right. I'm gonna be seventy five this summer. So yeah. I, You're content. I'm not you know, I enjoy life and we get we have eight grandchildren, so I see them as often as I can. I used to watch the Dick Tommy show every week. <laughs> it was like my religion, man. I'll just sit there. Change it was the only on once. Now the coach shows on like 15, 20 times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, coach. Thank you. Oh, wow.